What happens when you mix a self-entitled conspiratard flat earther and a trip to the supermarket? Meltdown. A bunch of people who always keep their cool are my amazing patrons. With massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons, Purple Rhymes with Orange, Tim Nicholas, Roy C, The Key Weasel, Lucas Hoy, David Fisher and Jeff Plessier, and my latest patrons, Crispy Bacon, D Pep, Andy Sibley, Global Mom and Cy Allen. Thank you all so very much. Big thanks to Mr Bozo Head for pointing this video my way. So in these times of COVID-19 restrictions, regulations and so on, Shelley Lewis decides that she's going to go to the local supermarket to do some shopping without a mask. Of course, she happened to be filming on arrival. Not that she was trying to get a reaction so that she could stick something up on YouTube, I'm sure. So we join the exciting action as a store worker notices she hasn't got a mask on and explains that she can't come in. Going inside the store without a mask is some sort of guy. Fair enough. This store happens to have a rule that you must wear a mask. Other stores are available. Okay, so I need to talk to a manager because... Oh, absolutely humbly go get a manager yeah. for you. Oh, wow. Without any discussion as to why she might need to wear a mask, she needs to see a manager. And helpful blokey says, absolutely, I'll go and get one. Good chap. Awesome. If not, we can provide you with one. And even more helpful, if she doesn't have a mask, they can provide her with one. I'm not wearing a mask. Okay, understood. Allow Perfect. Just a moment, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead. Oh, and so now before the guys even manage to go get the manager, She's already saying, I'm not wearing a mask. Hi. Well, so far, I'm really impressed with the store. Happy, friendly guy at the front. Got a manager in less than 15 seconds. Top job. Hi, I have a medical condition that I'm not allowed to wear a mask. Oh, really? Then I'm sure you'll have some sort of letter from your doctor confirming that. And I'm not required by HIPAA rule, right, rules and regulations okay. to disclose that. That's right, it's the latest thing. Anti-vaxxers are old hat. Meet anti-maskers. I'm a special princess and exempt from all regulation mandating face mask usage in public. Wearing a face mask poses a serious health risk to me. Under the ADA and HIPAA, I'm not required to disclose my medical condition to anyone. Oh look, $75,000 fine first time, $150,000 fine subsequent times. Are you seeing a few dollar signs, Shelley? Okay, can we shop for so, you? So... Oh, well, there we go. Nice solution put forward by Mr. Manager. Can we shop for you? Um, what does that look like? Well, I guess it looks like you give them your list and they do the shopping for you. I have private things I want to get, but maybe I don't want you to see. You? Ah, top secret shopping at the supermarket, eh? Who'd have thought it? but I can't let you in the store without a mask. Well, you've got your options there now, haven't you, Shelley? You can let them do the shopping for you. You could wear a mask that they're willing to provide for you. Or you could take your valuable custom elsewhere. Suck it up, princess. Okay, so where's the regulations that state that? What are you talking about? That would be something the store's decided to do. The regulations? Yeah. That, that is company policy. You're there you go. Company policy. Discriminate against me now, do you know that? I'm, I'm, I'm You're discriminating you against me. We can help you. No. Exactly how do you think he's discriminating against you? Everybody at that store is being treated the same. Everybody has to wear a mask if they want to go in. Discriminate means that you are being treated differently and you're not. Because I have okay. private inf I have private stuff yeah. that I don't want yeah. you to see. Oh, say no more. Private stuff, say no more. The manager should just override his company's policy, jeopardise his job, and put other customers at risk because you have private stuff you don't want him to see. You can call corporate office, but I can't help you. Okay, well, you guys don't get a lawsuit. Whoa, 54 seconds into your video and you're threatening a lawsuit. You could always just go to another store. You could get a friend to shop for you if you really can't wear a mask. Perhaps you are just seeing dollar signs. Because you can't, you can't discriminate. I almost wish that manager would say, well, forget about the mask. You're still not coming in. I understand that you're Shelley Lewis, flat earther. Therefore, by definition, you're too stupid to be able to operate complicated machinery 
like a shopping trolley. No, you can't. How, how is that? How's that helping when you're going to do shopping for me? How is it helping? Well, the company policy says you can't come in without a mask. He's offered a mask and has offered to do your shopping for you. I'd say that sounds quite helpful. He could have just said, F- I'm going to give you my bank information. I'm doing the best I how do I you. how do I do the transaction? Transactions will do for you. No, you're, I'm going to give you my credit card, my private credit card sure. for you to go and take and pay with my. We're trying to help you. Best how's that helping me? For God's sake, how many times you've been to a restaurant and you hand over your credit card? Miss Co- corporate office, I'm sorry. Okay, I need a card. Do you have a card for them? I sure can. That'd yeah. be great. Well, it looks as though Mr. Manager is still being helpful and going to find a card so that you can complain about him. This is Shelly Lewis. I'm at um, Dana Point Gelson's. So if anybody who... Um... Wants to go shopping in a store that's trying to protect their customers and is staffed by friendly, helpful staff, get yourself down to Gelson's at Dana Point. If anybody wants to shop here, you have to have a mask. There you go. Wear a mask and you'll be okay. Aside from that, you could be stark bollock naked. And here is the the policies, which um, state that they will shop for me, take my my money, my private credit card, and um, utilize that. I'm going to just let them go do that. Yep, I've carefully read those rules. There is nothing there against a weekly naturist shopping trip. Although I think I'm going to make my trip through the frozen section a fast one. So, um, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Okay, Shelley. Bye. And don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Oh, wow, what a fabulous, hard-working and cheerful guy. I want to see that again. But you're pretty, you're pretty chipper. Isn't he just? And isn't that nice to see? You're pretty chipper. Huh? You're happy? Why not be? Why are you happy? Well, I think it could be because he's just realised that he is not in a relationship with some demented Flatardian conspiratard whinge bint and realises how lucky he is. Yeah. Normally I'm a bartender and I wouldn't have a guest. Yeah. Not the OK, there's that as well. Normally a bartender, all the bars are closed, but he's managed to get himself another job and he's happy and grateful for that. Good man. Well, good. I mean, I'm glad you guys think it's OK to like infringe on people's rights here. It's a private business. They have the right to serve you or not serve you, as long as they treat everyone equally and fairly. And they are, in that nobody can shop without a mask. You're infringing on people's rights. And what about his right to be able to carry on with his job without being whinged at by some self-entitled princess? Sorry? I'm sorry I can't help you. But but that's the number to our corporate office. Okay, what's your name? My name is Ben. Ben? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ben. Okay. All right, thanks. All right. Thank Thanks, Ben. Patience. Well, top marks to trolley man and manager Ben at Gelson's at Dana Point. Life must be so hard for all you conspiracy nuts. What with flat earth, COVID, 5G, and now masks. Perhaps I can help you out. I have private things I want to get, but maybe I don't want you to see. So I'm glad we could help you out, Miss Lewis. How's it all going? How's your film going with JM Truth? Um, what was it called? A Plain Truth? Or has it just been abandoned? Any... Oh. This, this won't scan. Hold on a minute. Can I have a price check, please? Uh, 36-pack ribbed condoms, 250ml bottle slide and ride ecstasy lube, and 24-pack of super tampons. Thank you. Oh, Miss Lewis, you look a bit faint. Come back again and stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.